Hey guys and welcome to TrickMetal.ai. So today we are going to be running a very interesting experiment. Since everyone is talking about humanization of content, we will be looking at the top three humanizer tools inside of ChatGPT. So these are GPTs. And since the byproduct of humanization is an improved readability and an improved AI detection score, we will be measuring both. So we'll first take a look at the original readability and spelling and grammar, and then we'll see whether these humanization tools are going to improve either and then we're gonna test them against originality 2.0 originality 3.0 winston and turnitin almost forgot so turnitin is also going to be tested okay so i have a very simple prompt in mind so let's go to chat gbt i'll just choose gbt4 and say generate a 1000 word essay about reimagining history alternative outcomes of major events and let's see what happens it's okay this is our essay let's see what the default grammar and readability is so for grammar, I'll be using the free version of Grammarly. If we go to correctness, we only have two suggestions. So let's just note it down. Two spelling slash grammar mistakes. Now let's go to Hemingway. And this is a very high readability. So I can't even get a reading. It says postgraded. So that would mean readability of 15 or, or something. And I already know what the A score is going to be, but just to be on the safe side, let's start with originality 2.0. And this is, of course, 0% original. So, okay, so let's go to explore GPTs, writing, and now we have a selection of three humanization tools, the Humanizer Pro, the AI Humanizer Pro, and Humanize AI. So let's try them one by one, starting with Humanizer Pro. Click here to humanize your content. Please insert the text you'd like to humanize. Okay. So this was Humanizer Pro. Let's go to Grammarly. So the score to beat is 2 as far as correctness goes. Let's get rid of the disclaimer. Now it's 11. Okay, what about Hemingway? Still post-graded, so it didn't do anything for readability. Let's check originality. So this has actually passed originality 2.1. Let's see the 3.0. 6% versus 69. Okay, let's try Winston. It's okay, Winston's being difficult today. It's still calculating the AI score, but... This humanizer actually passed Turrentian, so you can see that how much of this submission has been generated by AI zero. That was a big surprise. And Winston scored this 99% human, which proves uh, the point that Winston and Turrentian are extremely similar. There is at least a correlation that I am seeing with the results. Granted, this is 0% AI and this is 99% human. So Humanizer Pro was a big surprise, and let's move on to AI Humanizer Pro. So input humanize it to humanize generated content. Okay, well, I'm not sure what to do. I'll just paste in the original ChatGPT content, I guess. Okay, this one is done. Let's get rid of this disclaimer once again. And the correctness is 16. So admittedly, more grammar slash spelling mistakes. Let's see if this translates to even better AI detection score. Readability is grade 15, so a slightly better readability, but not something that I would publish, obviously. Okay, so 15 readability and 16 grammar slash spelling mistakes. Let's check with the originality first, 2.0, 48. Let's switch to 3.0, 1%. What about Winston? So Winston is 97% human. So surprisingly, we're still getting 0% AI with Turnitin, which is good. And now it's time to check the last one, which is humanize.ai. Let's provide the AI text to humanize. Okay. So let's first check grammar. And correctness is 12. How about readability? Postgraduate again. So they tend to overcomplicate the language just to pass AI. Let's continue with originality 2.0. Okay, 74%. So far the highest one, I think. 74. 3.0 is only 4, unfortunately. Uh, Winston is 85, and Turrentine is once again a zero. My god, I was not expecting that. So guys, to sum up, I have two takeaways, so to speak. So the first one, these uh, top three humanizers, they do work as far as Turrentine, Winston, and Originality 2.0 go. They are not capable of passing Originality 3.0 as of now, and they do nothing for readability. So if you're trying to use those humanizers to improve readability, you'd better think again and use other tools or prompts. Before you go, check out useful resources in the video description, like the AI detection prompts, like a free Turnitin estimator, and finally my personal rating of uh, the best humanizing tools that exist right now. Hope this video was helpful. Good luck.